Good evening, Teresa Leather Barrel, 24 Rosewood. One has not only a legal, but more moral responsibility to obey just laws. Conversely, one has a moral responsibility to disobey unjust laws. That comes from Martin Luther King Jr. in a letter that he sent from the Birmingham jail. Under my guardianship and support, I refuse the Common Core 2014 exams beginning April 1st. I understand there is no opt-out option. I am not opting out. I am refusing. I refuse because the tests are secure, which means they cannot be used as a tool for future learning. I refuse because they were designed to create failure so that a case could be made for the continued rushed rollout of the Common Core state standards. I refuse because state education funds are going to Pearson instead of to our schools for the funding of real learning. I refuse because In Bloom is gathering private information from data points on these tests. I never gave consent for this data to be shared. I refuse because learning is more than a test score, and I want the joy of learning to return to my children's classroom. Under, under federal law, parents have the primary responsibility for the education of their children, and states, localities, and private institutions have the primary responsibility for supporting that parental role. The Supreme Court has repeatedly held the, the position that parents have a fundamental right to direct the upbringing and education of their child. Furthermore, the court declared that the child has, is not the mere creature of the state and that those who nurture him and direct his destiny have the right to coupled with the high duty to recognize and prepare him for additional obligations. In Meyer versus Nebraska, the Supreme Court held that the right of parents to raise their children free from unreasonable state in interferences is one of the unwritten liberties protected by the Due Process Clause of our 14th Amendment. I am here again to ask that you carry out the responsibility of supporting that parent role and that you allow children to read a book instead of staring blankly for the 400 minutes of state tests that will take place over six days. In the 2014 Common Core ELA test teacher's directions, it states on 10 different pages that after a student's test materials have been collected, that the student may be permit permitted to read quietly. This language is very clear, and it's the only requirement by the New York State Education Department for being allowed to read is that the test material be collected. I encourage you, our elected board members, to speak up. We want to hear from you. We want you to be transparent. We want you to put our children first over the ranking of our school district. Please be a shepherd and not a sheep. Thank you. Thank you for your comment.